Henry Brockholst Livingston November 25, 1757, to March 18, 1823, was an American Revolutionary War officer, a Justice of the New York Court of Appeals and eventually an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. <laughs> Early life Livingston was born in New York City in 1757 to Susanna French d. 1789 and William Livingston 1723 to 1790. He graduated with a Bachelor of Arts from the College of New Jersey now Princeton University in 1774. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Career Livingston inherited the family estate in New Jersey, Liberty Hall the modern-day site of Keene University, and retained it until 1798. During the American Revolutionary War, he was a lieutenant colonel of the New York Line, serving on the staff of General Philip Schuyler from 1775 to 1777 and as an aide-de-camp to then Major General Benedict Arnold at the Battle of Saratoga. He was a private secretary to John Jay, then the U.S. Minister to Spain from 1779 to 1782. Livingston was briefly imprisoned by the British in New York in 1782. After the war, Livingston read law and was admitted to the bar in 1783. He was in private practice in New York City from 1783 to 1802. Livingston served as one of three defense attorneys, alongside Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr, in the trial of Levi Weeks for the murder of Elma Sands. Judicial career From 1802 to 1807, Livingston served as a justice of the Supreme Court of New York, where he authored a famous dissent in the 1805 case of Pearson v. Post. Two years later, on November 10, 1806, Livingston received a recess appointment to the Supreme Court of the United States from Thomas Jefferson, to a seat vacated by William Patterson. Formally nominated on December 15, 1806 as Jefferson's second nominee, Livingston was confirmed by the United States Senate on December 17, 1806, and received his commission on January 16, 1807. He served on the Supreme Court from then until his death in 1823. During his Supreme Court tenure, Livingston's votes and opinions often followed the lead of Chief Justice John Marshall. In that era, Supreme Court justices were required to ride a circuit. In Justice Livingston's case, he presided over cases in New York State. Topic: <laughs> Virginia New York Alliance. Prior to his appointment to the U.S. Supreme Court, Livingston served as a judge for the State Supreme Court of New York, a member of the New York State Assembly, and an immensely prominent political activist. Due to family ties, Livingston's allegiance to the Democratic-Republican Party soon faded. Essentially, Livingston rebelled and goaded the Federalists to an enormous extent. With members consisting of Aaron Burr, Robert R. Livingston, and Edward Livingston both cousins of Brockholst, Livingston became one of the few emerging from a compact political faction in New York to form an alliance with Jefferson supporters in Virginia. This became known as the Virginia-New York Alliance, which proved to be vital in Jefferson's 1800-1801 election. Later years and death Livingston was elected a member of the American Antiquarian Society in 1814. Livingston died in Washington, D.C. His remains are interred at Greenwood Cemetery in Brooklyn, New York. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Family. Livingston's paternal uncles were Robert Livingston (1708–1790), Peter Van Brew Livingston (1710–1792), Philip Livingston (1716–1778), and his paternal grandparents were Philip Livingston (1686–1749), the second Lord of Livingston Manor, and Catherine Van Brew, the only child of Albany Mayor Peter Van Brew (1666–1740), his sister Sarah Van Brew Livingston (17). 
1856 to 1802, married John J. 1745 to 1829, who was a diplomat, one of the founding fathers of the United States, signatory of the Treaty of Paris, the second governor of New York, and the first Chief Justice of the United States in 1774. Another sister, Susanna Livingston, 1748 to 1840, married John Cleves Sims, 1742 to 1814, who was a delegate to the Continental Congress from New Jersey and later a pioneer in the Northwest Territory. Her stepdaughter Anna Sims, Sims' daughter from a previous marriage, married eventual President William Henry Harrison and was the grandmother of President Benjamin Harrison. Topic Marriages and children Livingston married three times. He first married Catherine Kettletes (1761–1804), the daughter of Peter Kettletes and Elizabeth Van Zant, on December 2, 1784. He and Catherine were the parents of Eliza Livingston (1786–1860), who married Jasper Hall Livingston (1780–1835), the son of Philip Philip Livingston (1741–1787). Susan French Livingston (1789–1864), who married Benjamin Ledyard (1779–1812). Catherine Augusta Livingston (B.C. 1790), who married Archibald McVicker (1785–1849). Robert C. Livingston (B.C. 1793, after his first wife's death in 1804, he married Anne N. Ludlow (1775–1815), the daughter of Gabriel Henry Ludlow and Anne Williams. Together, they were the parents of Carol Livingston (1805–1867), who married Cornelia Livingston. Anson Livingston (1807–1873), who married Anne Greenleaf Livingston (1809–1887), daughter of Henry Walter Livingston (1768–1810). After his second wife's death in 1815, he married Catherine Seaman (1775–1859), the daughter of Edward Seaman and the widow of Capt. John Courtright. Together, Henry and Catherine were the parents of. Jasper Hall Livingston 1815 to 1900 a twin who married Matilda Ann Cecilia Morris the youngest daughter of Sir John Morris second baronet of Claysmont in 1851 Catherine Louise Livingston B 1815 a twin who married Maurice Power 1811 to 1870 an Irish MP for County Cork who served as lieutenant governor for St Lucia Henry Brockholst Livingston (1819–1892), who married Mariana Gribaldo, and resided in Italy. Topic: <inaudible> Descendants. <inaudible> Through his daughter Eliza, he was the great grandfather of Edwin Brockholst Livingston (1852–1929), a historian. Through his daughter, Susan, he was the grandfather of Henry Brockholst Ledyard and great-grandfather of Lewis Cass Ledyard Through his daughter, Catherine McVicker, he was the grandfather of Brockholst McVicker and Archibald McVicker through his daughter, Catherine Power, he was the grandfather of Brockholst Livingston Power, John Livingston Power, and Alice Livingston Power who married her cousin, Edwin. Through his son, Henry, he was the grandfather of Oscar Enrico Federico Livingston 1875-1945. Through his son Anson, he was the grandfather of Ludlow Livingston 1838-1873, Mary Allen Livingston Harrison 1830-1921 and Anne Ludlow Livingston 1832-1913. See also Demographics of the Supreme Court of the United States List of Justices of the Supreme Court of the United States List of U.S. Supreme Court Justices by time in office United States Supreme Court cases during the Marshall Court <laughs>